And so the conversion, the ban on the conversion uh, therapy concept was one of making sure that especially young people were not taken advantage of, that they, they were able to learn and understand who they are and therefore live a life that they wish to live. And so to, for the city of Kenosha, it was important for us as the political leaders to make sure they had the opportunity to do that. And so that's why, in my opinion, that legislation was so important. And we're very pleased and proud that the community embraced it and moved forward with it. Thank you so much. In my second week in office, there was a front page article that said that the city had a failing grade when it came to the LGBT uh, community from the Human Rights Campaign's Municipal Equity Index. And um, that was obviously a, a wake-up call for me very early in my tenure. I mean, part of what has drawn me to public service and wanting to run for office is creating equality and equity for people in our community, regardless of who they are, so that everyone has the opportunity to thrive and feels whole and included. I, I see uh, the work that's being done um, around uh, the community when it comes to handling the issue of poverty, as Barb mentioned. You know, the, the issue of poverty affects so many communities, but it is disproportionately affecting LGBTQIA plus trans folks, for example, federally are four times the level of poverty, uh, you know, than, than, um, than straight folks.